A problem that has been sweeping wastewater treatment plants across the nation has come to the Attleboro area. Plants around the country have been having a difficult time processing baby wipes. Although many brands are advertised as being flushable, many wipes are not designed for processing by sewer treatment plants. The problem has been on the rise at the Attleboro Wastewater Treatment Plant, and we spoke with Superintendent Paul Kennedy about the growing issue. Hello, my name is Paul Kennedy. I'm the superintendent of the City of Attleboro's Wastewater Treatment Facility. What I wanted to talk about today is, in recent years, there's been an increase in sewer blockages and pump failures connected to a product manufacturers call flushable wipes or baby wipes. These products have become very popular amongst consumers, not only in Attleboro, Attleboro but across the country. Once these items are flushed into the sewer system, they can cause tremendous maintenance problems. Attleboro has 12 pump stations located at several low points throughout the city's sewer collection system. As a precaution, sewer pump stations are designed to have a backup pump if one fails. However, in certain instances, I've, been, I've seen both pumps clog simultaneously. As a precaution, in this instance, time is of the essence to make the necessary repairs to correct the problem. Attleboro's wastewater treatment plant is manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and is equipped to receive trouble alarms from each of our sewer pump lift stations. Once the call comes in, maintenance personnel are dispatched as soon as possible to take care of the problem before raw sewage overflows onto city streets or worse into residents' homes creating health issues. The city has already invested a lot of time and money into modifying our current screening methods at our sewer lift stations and at the wastewater treatment plant in attempts to remove these wipes before they enter the sewer system and wastewater treatment plant. In addition, we have purchased special grinder pumps in some cases at certain sewer pump stations that actually shear the wipes into small pieces so they can pass through our equipment and avoid blockages. However, these grinder pumps can only be used in sewer pump stations that have minimal flow. These wipes are a huge maintenance problem that requires several additional man hours and overtime hours that adds to the cost to operate the wastewater treatment facility, which in turn must be passed on to the sewer rate payers. Hopefully in the future, the manufacturers of these wipes will be able to produce a more sewer-friendly product. If not, I urge residents to dispose of these wipes using an alternative method, such as with your trash. Kleenex uh, is not a problem. That pretty much readily breaks up with the uh, wastewater. Paper towels can be a, pop a problem. We've had issues before with the paper towels and they weren't so much of a fibrous material. They were more of a, a braided material that would get caught in our pumps. We were able to track that down and we asked the, uh, uh, actually it's coming from an industry, asked them to uh, curtail that and they did. We hadn't had any uh, recent problems with that. And of course, you know, uh, there has been times where people can flush pampas down the toilet and things like that and that that's definitely a major problem not only for the collection uh, the sewer collection system but also the a, a person's lateral that uh, goes from their home to the uh, to the sewer main in the street which would be um, a problem for the for the resident we did have to have uh, a company come in and block the line and it can get very costly we have a, a great staff here uh, a lot of the people have been here for many years. You know, without them, our maintenance crew uh, and our collection guys that work out in the streets, this plant just wouldn't function as it does. And they do a great job. They go out there and they, they work on the uh, sewer collection system. Several blockages occur. We do maintenance on the, on the lines to keep things uh, moving. Um, we've got a six-man crew and thanks to them, uh, they keep the wastewater flowing into the treatment plant with minimal problems. We also have a maintenance crew here that uh, is a very good, we have a very good crew that uh, at a moment's notice they're ready to come in anytime to take care of problem. Running a treatment plant like this 24 hours a day takes constant maintenance and it's just a constant thing that we work at and the guys just do a great job. Mm -hmm.